boring, yeah, yeah Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, hey guys. guys. Hi. You think you'd be a phone sex operator? Hi. No, I watched Girl 6 and they had way too much going on. Was it a movie? You never seen the movie Girl 6? It's a Spike Lee joint. Probably when I was a kid, but not as an adult. Yeah, she's a phone sex operator. I don't know. I think that it's just not something I could stay in character about, especially because I'm going to laugh. Like, a part you want of me to like, start doing weird shit? I'm going to laugh. Yeah, and like a part of doing sexy things for me is like seeing that it's gratifying the other person and so just to be saying this stupid shit to you and you just yeah. <sighs> breathing hard on the phone and, and shit weird. i just and then also if you're using phone sex now in 2023 like phone sex operators you are you're generous. a fucking weirdo yeah. you real vintage ass creep man if you're doing that but anyway yeah. welcome back first of all before we get started listen Ooh. to me if y'all don't subscribe to this youtube yeah and like our posts, and yeah. retweet our things, yeah. and follow, and share. Listen, you at work. If you a member of the oh, Jokes on You pod oh, community, you are now, I can't say employed because you're not making no money. You employed. You at work. But you, you, you the street team. You the street team, man. Share and you need to share this with your people I, and I, shit. I, got, I, got, I don't want to do no other work but this work and comedy work. Because as long as we keep on getting on here talking about dicks and booty holes, we ain't going to get no real it's job so anyway. It's so hard to get real jobs when you get on this motherfucker talking about sucking cop. Yeah. I'm sorry. So share the goddamn podcast, So share it. Man. Fuck. I want us to get to like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I see this going on for a while. You know, like I want us to be here for yeah. the long haul. So share this motherfucker, and honestly, man. You said something about the intern. We never really followed up on that. I don't, you know what? I don't honestly, know y'all. after that situation, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm all fucking You know what sad. that reminded me of? That reminded me of Beauty Shop. When the white girl was going to help her sell her hair crack and was mad she didn't fire Golden Brooks and then took the hair crack and left, that's what that was. That's exactly what that was. That's exactly what happened. But you know what? Whatever. Yeah. Like, and I, I I usually use my platform to say nasty things about people. But you just got to let that In my personal that. life. You just got to let that. God has that. God, yeah. You fucking got. And I said this the other day on Twitter that, um, thank you. I said this the other day on Twitter that I know that vengeance is the Lord's. But he don't be moving fast enough. Yes, I be wanting my vengeance yeah. now. But, but you, that's that's one of the ones you gotta let cook yeah. low and slow in the yeah, crock pot. That's a roast gotta, right there. In the crock pot, it ain't got shit to do with me no more, man. Whatever, fuck it. It really should really hurt my feelings too. No, and that's fucking and that's disgusting. Fair. No, that's yes, yeah, awful, it was gross. Because I was like, damn, we finally was. But it's like this is. But I think that's what. what it but was what it to. did show me, it did sh- props to that situation. There is work to be done, and there's work that I wasn't thinking about that needs to be done. And I definitely made copies of all that, all the shit that I had. <laughs> so, so, so it doesn't per. fucking matter. Per. Yeah, I didn't know we talking about. Hey, we we gotta stop having personal conversations. Sorry. Um, but did. yeah, share um, with your friends and shit. Live yeah. tweet. It be like the same two people that's always gonna tweet who, who have a special place in heaven. Oh, uh, the black ambervert is always black ambervert always and uh, sis from Chief, fam. Chief Wellington, I think, is one of them. Uh, and um, what's sis from fam? Shit. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I just cannot remember yeah, her, um, her name right now. Don't worry about it, because when I click on the hashtag, I'm going to see him. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's it? Yep, Yuna. Yuna? Going to tweet. Always. Going to tweet. And so she may be a couple y'all. days late, mm-hmm. but she going to tweet. She going to be there. Yep. Um, so thank, thank the three of y'all for coming. Yuna, Ooh. Black Ambervert, yup. What what uh what uh Raven Simone said, but y'all got to buy the music. Is that, yeah, that, that's that Brandy. Brandy. <laughs> we need the audience to, to listen, listen to, to the, the podcast. podcast. <laughs> okay, we need y'all to share the podcast. Okay, uh, so for the booty hole segment today, our game. Yes. What three white celebrities would you hesitate to kill in the... I was supposed to say race war, um, but I put zombie apocalypse. But in the race war... The racist zombie The racist zombie, zombie, zombie apocalypse, which... So they're three, racist zombies. They're racist zombies, which... Like, if, if the racist zombies about you, you become racist. So which three white celebrities would you hesitate to kill in the racist zombie apocalypse? So there have been some changes in my list, because it was always... Tony Hawk was always on there. Tony Hawk, okay. Dolly Parton. okay. And I'm so disgusted at Jonah Hill because I've been riding with Jonah Hill for a very long time, and you're going to sit up here and embarrass me in the way that you did. So I want to say something here. And I, uh, I'm i not giving him any grace at all. However, Ever. it was very public for a very long time 
how he low himself. he thought of himself. Yeah, it made total sense so to me. So everything that he did was very disgusting, but also have that, for y'all listening, I have, and it's also white people's business, but I also have Which that frame of. of this is a person who did not adequately at all love themselves Them damn or selves. anything about themselves. So, of course, he was putting that girl up against the motherfucking world. And she's like 25 and while he's 39. Also, go to jail. Go to jail. Go but to that's jail. exactly why they like these yeah. young bitches. But when we say it, we better yeah. old bitches. Yeah. But we already know what's going on. Yeah, um, so, it. I'll say white people I like, white people I like. Um, Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Don't bother nobody. Don't bother nobody. She's sexy dance in that house. Britney is my first. Britney, get behind me. In the z- Leave Britney alone. Leave Britney alone. If it was a racist zombie apocalypse, you know how people be wearing babies. They be strapping the baby to. I'm strapping Britney to my motherfucking back. And we now, Jamie here. Lynn, I'm pushing her off the top of the Fuck building. Jamie Lynn Spears. Co- but Britney, you. I'm, Britney is, is coming with me. Not only am I hesitating to kill you, I'm going to get you out of here. I'm taking her with me. Um, I have a car seat for, for Brittany. Also, um, Ryan Gosling. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's yeah, a good Ryan one. Yeah, Ryan Gosling, that's keeping him. One. That's a white person. You know who used to be on my list, and they started getting weird lately in almost a very, like, classes, and if you really, like, dig deep into it, racist, racist. sort of way, Jennifer Aniston's gotten weird. Oh, she used to be my, yeah. my person that I'm just like, that white woman, me and her, locked in. And now... I, I kind of always... Even the Brad and Jen, like she did not deserve to get her nigga took like that at all. But it was like, still, you was on Friends. I don't trust none of the white people from Friends. Uh, they're not great, but... Uh, I don't trust not Nan, one but, of the uh, white people from she Friends. She used to be on my list. I don't know who my third white person would be. Uh, that, 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 that circus. Uh, who else did you pick? Brittany, who else? I said Brittany, Dolly. Tony Hawk. I need Dolly Parton to close that one racist exhibit at Dolly World, and then we'll be fine. Wait, what racist it exhibit? Is, um, some, I've been to Dolly something World. about the Native Americans that's real, real racist, and also something black that's super anti-black and weird in there, too. I've seen videos of it on the YouTube. It's still up, that and they refuse to close it. Some good food. They have some, but, some sausage. Um, I think Dolly might be mine, too. Her them titties still sitting up, and that beef facing that husband we ain't never seen in 60 years? That's Mm-mm. my kind of bitch. You know what? And the thing about it is... The plastic surgery girls that get plastic surgery all day life, you know what? Because once I get me some money, you can't keep me off that goddamn table if it's Did something. you see it? Speaking of Dolly, I'm sorry. Did you see that thread saying Molly's in a cult again? Molly who? Miley Cyrus. Oh, Miley. They said Miley is down to the cult, and that's why she has not promoted her flower single. She dropped it and joined the cult shortly after, so she has not promoted it. I've got to fall down this rabbit hole. I know it's on TikTok. I know it. I got to fall down this rabbit hole now. now. Now, Destiny Hope. But listen, you know what? Being on social media has kind of, like, opened my eyes to how susceptible adults are to being influenced in that way. Easily. For any particular reason. Easily. So I used to think it was very far-fetched that a person, an adult person, could be culted upon. But, no, I see how it could happen. If they have a cult where I don't have to be bothered by niggas no more, it's just like a little compound. If they had a cult. The men could be there for sex. And it was bread and butter over there? Bread and butter. We got to go down to the Cheesecake Factory again. That's my, that video is one of my favorite. Do I still owe you that date? Thank you, Daddy. I said, well, just let me know, child. <laughs> well, after Thursday, I'm going to be here for like 10 days. But after where that, I'm home. Where the fuck are you going? It's my last stop on the tour. Oh, where are you going? Um, Louisville. When, what day is this? Thursday. I like Louisville. You do. You do like I Louisville. Enjoy Louisville a lot. I don't think it's sold out either, so. We'll see. Yeah, so I'll, I'm going to be there but Thursday. Y'all, going on. y'all, you flying and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. But yeah. So, um, yeah, I think mine might be Dolly too. But the plastic surgery girls, honey. Oh, we digress because we were talking about Miley Cyrus and her cult. Completely forgot about that. I'm tired. I think a wave of tiredness just hit me. Yeah, it'd be doing oh that. Oh, my God. It's came out of nowhere. Um,. Oh, but we now we have a hell of a letter. I've not seen this letter at all. Mel I've has, just seen I how long not. it is, and I saw that it was an update to a, a a letter from March. Let me reread this. Oh yeah, cause the daddy had the dementia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so uh, when she was talking about her boyfriend's older with the money. To... 
I'm not reading that first letter in this. Okay, we're not reading the letter. Y'all, y'all go back to March. Go back to March and listen. Okay, so maybe she'll update we us. We popcorn in this. We definitely popcorn in So let's do, you want to do two paragraphs a piece? You you read until, oh, damn. You, That's what I'm saying. Paragraph a piece or two? Two paragraphs a piece. Actually, these paragraphs are long. So let's do one. Because this one? I don't mind reading that. So. Okay. I'm, listen, I get tongue tied. Okay. So. Okay. Hello. This is an update from a March email. Says, hi again, ladies. Before you begin, I am fully aware that this is toxic and you may condemn my actions. I'm aware and I no longer care. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. It's only toxic now. Toxic now because I tried doing things the right way, being loyal and loving for four years, but clearly doing things right didn't give me what I was looking for. So I'm on my big one. Per. Per. I'm already, whatever you do. I don't, you know what? I support women's rights. But I support women's wrongs. Period. Okay. Okay. So whatever you did, I'm on your side. I'm only reaching I out because. The girl from, I am that girl from that video that you you said that I was her. Yes. yes. I love that. I love that. I love that for you. Let's go get brunch. Tweet. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Sabrina. Now, we got to screen her tweets, but I like that bitch. So I like. I might save her. I bit. might save her. As long as she ain't been saying nigga and vote for Trump, I might save I Sabrina Breer. She doesn't seem like the type of girl. She doesn't seem. But okay. I'm only reaching out because I thought it was only right to give you an update and will happily let my messiness be entertainment. In case the previous email has been deleted, please inform me. I still have the original thread. If not, then we may proceed without a recap. Go ahead. To add context to my previous email, well, my we both bo- got to see it, baby. Well, so we okay, put it okay, right okay. I can't see that far right now. I don't know what's going on with my eyes. To add context to my previous email, my boyfriend and I have been long distance for three years. It will be four. I got to turn it a little bit. I'm sorry. It will be four in September or November, and I have known him for five and a half years. He's in Central Florida for his parents, and I am in Miami for college. I just graduated in May, first child out of nine to do it. And right around the time I was to graduate, I was fucking and fucking up real bad. I wanted to leave the state of Florida for a new job. I wanted to take our relationship to the next level and bring my person, in quotations, with me. And he was resistant to moving. Understandably so because of his parents. I knew if he did pick up and go where I went, he would be miserable miserable because it's not as easy for him to build community wherever he is as it is for me. And he would also miss his family. So now I am irritated as hell. I was tired of the back and forth regarding moving in our relationship. I was ready to settle down and be engaged. He told me to pick out a ring this time last year, try them on in store, and let my clients know I have a leave date in Miami because I'll be moving in with him and I will be getting married. And it's been a year since then. And everyone in my family, my clients, his friends, including my damn self, are all like, it's been a year. Where the fuck is the ring? And when am I leaving? Because I graduated in May and I'm still in Miami. So let me get this straight. These are bullet points. You won't uproot your life for me because of your family and your own personal reservations into a situation where we are both secure financially. Another exclamation point. Another uh, point. Bullet point. You want me to uproot my life from Miami and move in with you with no new job, be dependent on you, and there's no ring on my finger. Now, of course, we can play the mental mindset that the ring will come, sure, but if that was the case, why the fuck wouldn't you tell me, why would you tell me a year earlier for me to build this whole fairy tale in my head that is coming much sooner and that you would move me out of Miami this summer? He did this before in the beginning of our relationship and throughout saying he can picture him spending the rest of his life with me, et cetera, et cetera, and telling his friends too. Yet, during that time, he wasn't taking any actions to prepare himself to do so. Only I was. Only I was saving money to accommodate two people in a new lifestyle on the horizon. Mm. He just saved money for himself. I paid off all my debt through the relationship so so I don't move in with him with anything under my credit. He waited until year four to do so. Now, of course... The overall message is at the end of the day, he still did what he said he was going to do. Yeah, what he said he was going to do regardless of time. Yes, and I am proud of him for accomplishing his achievements, but something about him not being proactive already as is at his grown 30-something-year-old age, living at home with his family for reduced cost to help him save money, bringing home four to $5,000 a month and only managing to save five bands until I personally spoke up and told him to save double that tangent I don't see now why he would have saved triple that, considering, again, he lives at home with minimal bills and is officially debt-free, but I digress. It's not sitting well with me and piss- this is not sitting well with me and pissing me off. I told him, I don't want to hear shit about you talking to your friends about settling down with me no more. I want to see action. His mama asked me when I'm moving back to Central Florida. I looked her dead in her face and said, that's a conversation for you and your son, and held my left hand up so she understood the message I was trying to convey. I don't see why he didn't move me all these years. I've been fucking remote learning my entire academic career. I told him I do not feel comfortable sleeping with you anymore because I refuse to end up like your sister with 
Damn. With a baby with a man, she should have moved on from wondering if he will make an honest woman out of her and propose, and he hasn't in over six years. You are not taking my fine ass out of the game of potential new suitors and trapping me with a baby. Oof. In addition, there's nothing worse than me sleeping with you, loving you all over again, getting sprung just for you to leave Miami and travel back home, and I don't physically see you again to the following month, if even. He tries to argue absence makes the heart grow fonder, and sure, that may have been the case the first one or two years, when we were separated during the pandemic, but bitch, I'm grown. I Ooh. need to get piped regularly. Yes. Per, and as I have previously mentioned in my last email, and I would say it again, don't play on my top. I know I am undeniably fine. There's a link here. Come on, Insta. Come on, shit. shit. We gonna pull it up. But she linked her Instagram to let us know she was not to be fucked with. Don't worry about it. I got a phone, bitch. Right. Hold on. Then to make it a double whammy, I am fine. I make a man feel good emotionally because I am an enormous ball of joy with a, sh- a southern draw. So I applied for the jobs out of state and have been taken care of by some men down south that want to see me win and want to fuck on me. Okay, hold I on. I don't know time. what this means. Man E have, I don't know, have known each other for three years, and he told me straight to my face if he that if he... Oh, these are different men's initials. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. These are niggas. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, purr. She cute. Let me see. What a hot bitch. You a little gay? <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> Man E, I have known for three years and told me straight to my face that if he won't marry you, I will. Ooh, I have zero problems giving you that. Man E has paid for my passport to get handled, gives me whatever I ask for, and is taking me on an expensive pay trip to Norway when he gets here. Ooh, we fucked for the first time, and that man had me on the floorboard. Ooh, now it's constant. He can have me any day, and ever since he did, the princess treatment was already there, but now he cranked that knob up much higher because he is sprung. He has taught me a lot. I'd be with him if he, d- but he doesn't want kids or believe in God, and that's a deal breaker for me. He a manager at Meta. Ooh. Okay. Man C, I will never sleep with. But has taken me shopping twice. I'm talking about 500 uh, to, I'm assuming that, uh, 1, uh, oh, oh, 500 to $1,000 shopping sprees would happily marry me, give me a baby, and keep me home. He has even helped introduce me to some business professionals and helped me get the job that I just accepted an offer for a week ago as well. He's a recruiter from Wall Street and a trader and has personally moved my e trade account from $70 to $700, and he originally put the money down for investments. Oh, man, P has helped me understand what it means to invest and has personally moved my interest rate from 0.02% to 5% in dividends from the bank. Took me shopping on a much lower scale. Is low-key a degenerate, but it's fun to talk to. They, aren't they all? Mm-hmm. He also introduced me to his successful friends to expand my network and has told me when he signs his deal at work, he will take me shopping at Saks because he knows my taste. Never slept with that man either. He is an investment banker moving into private equity. Mandy is a pharmacist who is really nice to look at and could very much fall off the roster, but if I wanted some new dick with his banging body, he's not going to tell me no. I'll see him tomorrow, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dexter's, <laughs> Dexter's, Dexter's losing apart it. <laughs> Y'all done gave Dexter the vapors. He's <laughs> out there fucking losing Oh, shit. Ooh, okay. Oh, shit. So, until my longtime man, Mr. J, gets his shit together and moves me, I'm going to be... On one, and I'm not saying shit either. So this time next year, we could be broken up. We could be very much so together and married, and I want nothing but applause and a toast when it happens because, again, I don't care. All of this can go out the window like nothing happened, or I can still keep batting my 20-year-old eyelash. Oh, batting my 20-year-old, 4-year-old eyelashes and make another man do it. Bitch! And there was another part to this, wasn't she, it? Yeah, she followed up, and you can put that. Sorry to send this. This is another... Email. So I just sent this long ass letter like it's a journal entry on Wattpad. I was mad. Long story short, I'm on a mission to get married. And if I'm not going to get that from a man who can't tell me where the money is disappearing to and pour into me, I'm taking every last thing that suits me well for the time being. And every man, honestly, baby, you 24. This man is 30 something, but also 24. And you are. I don't think you should get married to this person, man. <laughs> I, and I don't think you should even much be worried about if it. If you got to like, do all of this. And honestly, live your life. You are, you're 24, but you're five. Like, you're, you yeah. have so you're much time. You got so much life you, to live. You have so much. And you you got all your alphabets, niggas. Have a good time, baby. Yeah, because Because that nigga playing in your face. Honestly, I said this in the last letter, I think. He got too much shit going on. He got the, the daddy got the dementia. The mama got something else going on. You 24. Stop. Just, Stop. Just, it, and he knew to get a young bitch to, to do all his and, bullshit. And now, we're not trying to be funny. We're not trying to be bitter old bitches. He knew that nobody his age was is going for this that. shit or yeah. even putting up with this for shit. Sure. And also, like, that whole him in the earlier parts of your relationship, who you talking about your friends, I could see 
spending the rest of my life love bombing. Love bombing. Because niggas love getting supporting characters for their bullshit. And like, they, hey, tell her I love her, bro. Mm-hmm. Tell and, her we need to be together. And they love painting a picture for you. Like, it's like a dream. Like, selling you a dream. Like, oh, you could be my wife and we could be da 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 Because a ring is something you can go buy from a store just like you can go buy some flowers. He could have got that ring and it been it. Especially if y'all are long distance, that would have been the perfect cute little proposal. But he wants you tethered in Miami while he in Central Florida doing mm-hmm. what the fuck he want to do in fucking Apopka. And mm-hmm. you in Miami where you could be on a boat with your ass out, but you right. wait on his motherfucking ass. Right. So get you some old nigga. Get you an M nigga. Get you a K nigga. You 24. Get, you a, get listen, the whole alphabet. Every I want to hear 26 niggas. You're 24. It's fine to be in love. Your ass cheeks are supposed to be out, bro. Your ass cheeks are supposed I wish to be my out. ass was out more when I was 24. You should be having a good goofy silly time yes. you're making money taking care of yourself and also like him living at home and not saving no money is crazy him living because where home, the money going him living at home and not having no bills is bananas and also from how much you said that he make i think for him to be making that and not saving money means he shouldn't be with anybody right now that's how i feel I'm just saying, if you're making that and you live at home and you're not saving, marriage is not a priority for you. Marriage is not a priority. She and is Dementia Daddy supposed to move in with y'all? And he got a lot of stuff he going on. He got a lot of shit going on, bro. I would say continue dating all these other men. I would fuck the dude with the hot buy as you should get you a little piece of that. Um, as he should. Yeah. All right. That was great. Yeah. Did we do our jokes of the week? No. Uh, my joke of the week is that um, I was narrowing my coochie and my underarms as I do sometimes. Um, and then a spider crawled up out of the drain while I was doing that. And so in the effort to try to kill said badass spider, I left the nair on my pits and on my puss for too long. So I now have a chemical burn on my bikini line and a chemical burn under my left armpit. So that's where I'm at, man. And see, this is why I be giving niggas the Silk Sonic pussy because... I shouldn't have to go through this. I hate getting waxed. I hate it. It literally ruins my life. So I'm always trying to figure out how to, like, cut corners to, like, not have to experience that. But I'm just going to have to lay on that table. I simply cannot burn the skin off my pussy. That's not right. I understand. And for me, I guess I can segue into that because my joke of the week is my wax girl is not available on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So I'm going into... Beyonce concert last. Uh, I just got the a hairy pussy and hairy eyebrows because now it's like I don't want, I don't want no one. Else. <laughs> I don't want nobody else touching my coochie but her. I mean, and it's like, but that fits the vibe. I think you know it has that like disco kind of like seventies feel. So they wasn't waxing their shit down to the bone back in. That they day. wasn't. They was not. So, and that's just where I'm at now yeah. because, and it's also so funny because it's like I hate when I'm going to get something done and people not. Why are you not at work? Why are you not at work? The People worst don't thing work is when, you're, when your nail tech and your hairstylist be getting, like, pregnant and shit. Bruh. Because what do I mean? You don't have a job where you can get pregnant. Like, I'm sorry. That's awful to say. I guess I shouldn't say that. But, like. I get the joke. When it's like. But like, come on, dog. I need you. I need you to, to be at work. I'm sorry. My nails need to be done. Did you see that thing where that girl, her nail tech or whatever, didn't like basically cancel her appointment, kept her deposit. It was supposed to be the girl's friend, and she like, oh my god, like what are you like laid up with a nigga or something? And, and she then, was, and she was laid up with a nigga, and then was basically like it ended their friendship. She ended up calling the state board on the girl, like yeah, all these different things. That. that shit is crazy. These nail tags and crazies. Like, listen, that's why my braid lady is a nice Nigerian lady, and I will not be sharing any more information past that. And the hair gets braided, mm-hmm. I, she takes it out. She she touched my shit up. Mm-hmm. See, that's also like. I enjoy doing things myself, beauty services myself, because I take a lot of pride in learning how to do things. That's why I've been having so much fun braiding my own hair, because, like, I'm finally, like, learning the looks that I like and the size that I like, you know, learning to do things. But, like, one of the reasons I've gotten so, gone so hard into DIY stuff is because you bitches are insane. And I'm going to fuck around and end up in jail behind one of you hoes if I got to go somewhere and you're not available and you're not available because you're playing on my top. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That, I just, that's absolutely insane to me. Like, I've started learning, like, I did really good learning how to do the individual lashes, but now, like, I've started studying, like, lash maps and shit like that and, like, the different sizes and, like, where to place what. I'm not fucking around with you bitches. You lash bitches, nails, hair, None of that shit. I will still go down to the Lush Nail Bar and get my toes done. That. It's something that about I, that. Something about I, the toes I need, you can't do at home. And honestly, I got a pedicure like last week. And the way I like to get my ass whooped by the chair, I like it. Because once the massage gets to going on my legs and then I'm getting beat, I, mm-hmm. I be trying not to moan. Oh, yeah. I really be holding up. I be like, <gasps> No, it's great. Because it just be like a. 
Yeah. No, that's pretty fantastic. Situation is and amazing. I need my toe square. And that's just some shit I ain't been able to get right. All my toes aren't done. They finna stay in these crops. These you toes right here? And I got a little acrylic on it. Look, look, little look, acrylic. Look, acrylic never hurts. Because my toenails break at the corner sometimes. Look, acrylic never hurts. I nobody. need that. And yeah. I need them white. I don't care. It's white or French. I go white, French, white, French, white, yep. French. I don't care. White I need toes, my toes done. People try to talk shit about white toes. White toes, where is that? I'm sorry. The pale pink toes and the clear pink gel is real cute, too. I think those are cute. I've as been well. in a chokehold between white and French for at least three years now. Four. Yeah. Four years. I mean, like I said, my toes didn't start getting sucked good until I started getting white toes. When so. I when I got that French again, I tell this story a million times. I was in my long sister's wedding and she told Can us I that. Send me pictures of that boy feet. No, she um, <laughs> she made us get French for. I need a record of it and I need someone to send it to, so they know I'm not crazy. So mm-hmm. now it's like I don't have this random. Yeah, That's whatever. Right. So she was like, "Y'all need French for the wedding," and I was the main one in the group, like not doing that. No, I'm not doing French. I'm not fucking old. Blah blah mm-hmm. blah blah blah. And I got that French, and I went on a date after the wedding because my toes are still done from the wedding. Did you throw that Butterfinger away without eating it? I don't eat the candy that comes in the Lunchables. I wasn't you allowed that, to. You, yes, I have it. you threw that Butterfinger away? I don't eat Butterfingers, and I don't eat Lunchables. You candy. lucky I might, my throat might close up if I eat it, but you <laughs> not going to throw no goddamn Butterfingers away. I just saw it in the trash, and it's like, she threw me away. Look at me. Anyway, <laughs> that was my first time genuinely getting my toes sucked. I had a nigga, like, graze my toe one time. Mm-hmm. He didn't fully suck it. But when I had that French, that nigga... I mean, oxtail. Like, that nigga Gobble was, I mean, you know how you give a baby a chicken bone? No. <laughs> because they can't really eat food. They just suck out the nutrients. He got every nutrient out of my toes. Mm. And I've been getting French since, bitch. Mm-hmm. You just got to get Child. the French. Well, anyway, gross. I don't know how we segue into our topic after talking about getting our toes sucked. Mm. I don't think we do. Um, and I think it would be weird for me to try. So we are hard going left. to hard <laughs> left. Uh, <laughs> we are talking about little black girlhood. We are just talking about what it's like to grow up being a, a little, little black, black girl. ass girl. Um, we're missing some stuff on here. I'm sure we'll talk about it because we'll I have some more ideas it. since we've been talking. But whatever. So starting off, what was your favorite childhood game? What was your favorite childhood, childhood game? game? Okay, like. Like a game we play outside type game? It could be a game you play outside, hand game. It could be, it could okay, be it's, a board game. It's, it it's categories, you categories then. Because okay. it's like, because I will play The Sims. You but then, do the categories and then tell me and I'll tell you mine. Okay, so video game Sims, obviously. Mm-hmm. Outdoors. You just playing them when you was little? I've been playing that since I was six years old. Oh, my God. I didn't even know a child know The Sims. This came out in 2000. Okay, go ahead. Um. So, yeah, but it was like Sim City and then like Sims. But mm-hmm. I was I was a computer nerd. Mm-hmm. But, um. so, yeah. So play computer games and video games like the Rugrats video game, mm. Spiral, Crash Bandicoot. I like Place. Barbie. The Barbie game on my Game Boy. So game I had fun. Barbie. I didn't have a lot of Barbie video. What could be, no, I had Bratz video games. I didn't have the Barbie video mm. games. I have. I played like boy games. Okay. On a PlayStation. Because mm. my sister would play and I wanted to play whatever she was playing. Mm-hmm. So I would just watch her play and I would have fun. But I didn't really play. I played Rugrats. That was the like. And then Rugrats had the Totally Angelica game. I think I might have had that. That was my favorite game on the PlayStation. I will say, I didn't get a lot of, like, toys that I had a bunch of special connection to, but, like, my game, I had almost every Game Boy game. Especially when I got a Game Boy Color, I had almost every Game Boy game. And you had the little case, and they had the light on it, because there was Mm -hmm. no fucking backlight. Oh, Mm -hmm. I used to love the Game Boy Color. I had the, um... That was my favorite. Oh, the SpongeBob game on Game Boy Color. Remember mm-hmm. that with the yeah. fucking and you jumped up with the with the mm-hmm. spatula and, and shit. My people thought Sponge. My grandmother thought SpongeBob was the devil, so she didn't like that shit at all. Well, most things in my household were demonic, but SpongeBob mm-hmm. was not. They couldn't oh. really justify that one. They couldn't. I could not watch that. So Raven, obviously Harry Potter, none of the the outwardly Did witchy they think stuff. Raven was a demon or something. Psychics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Psychics are demonic. Yeah, yeah. Um, So I was so excited. I remember I've been a Raven fan because I'm a black girl on everything. Her mm-hmm. and Kyla was like we locked in. And I'm like, oh, this bitch getting the show is fucking it's lit. lit. Yeah. And then we were talking about it. We were in art class. It was like third or fourth grade. And like the video had came. I remember that. I'm the, taking this hair down. It's hurting me. Go ahead. Sure. Mine was, this was pulling the back of my kitchen. That's what I was doing at the beginning of the episode. So remember before the show came out, she had a music video for the theme song. And it was like out in the street. And it was like mm-hmm. the fire escapes. Everybody was outside. Yep. And I'm like, oh, this bitch going to be so lit. So we were talking like, oh, y'all seen a new show with Raven. Mm-hmm. And we, mind you, these white girls. They're like, yeah, she's going to be a psych. I said, what? what? <laughs> this changes everything. I'm not going to be allowed to watch this. They're like, yeah, she's a psychic. You didn't see that? I was like, oh, no, I can't watch the new Raven show. Oh, my God. We yeah. some old bitches. Yeah, we old. We remember when that's a Raven yep. dropped. Yep. Oh, you got pins in. That's why it hurt, bitch. You, yeah. got, you don't need pins, too. 
Well, I couldn't get it to stay while the ceiling was falling down. Oh, because so you didn't rushing. put a scrunchie in it. No, I didn't put a scrunchie. I, okay. I really don't like scrunchies. They hurt my hair for real. I look crazy right than normal. It's fine. Okay. Um, um, but yeah, so that was crazy. Um, but yeah, so did game. You Barbie my scene. I loved Barbie my scene. Did I play? What do you mean Barbie my scene? Not my. What am I talking about? Everything girl. You was on Everything Girl, the no. website? That what you talking about? No. The what dolls? was the Barbie game where you made her over? That was my scene. It was on my Everything scene. Girl, but the My Scene makeover game on the Everything yes, Girl. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. You said Barbie My Scene. I was like, okay, bitch, it's, 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 it's Dreamcast and it's GameCube. No, no I got Game I'm Cast. talking about, maybe I'm, my memory We're talking about the same thing. I know we're I'm talking, talking about, about something you can play on the computer. I know. You're talking about the computer game, but it was EverythingGirl.com. Mm-hmm. We had the Barbie, had my scene, because my scene was owned by Barbie, but my mm-hmm. scene game where you can give Madison a new haircut. Yes, 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 yes. And then, yes, it, okay. yes yeah, I was yeah. deep okay. on everything, yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. No. And we had to no. go around at, and remember they had all the fun shit blocked at school, mm-hmm. so we couldn't go on Barbie.com. We had com. to use, a, um, what was it called? When we were in school, we had to use something. It's like the equivalent of a VPN now. Yes. It's, but we I forget were, what we We was going it. around them shit yeah. to get on like It was the, like a proxy website. We had to use proxy websites. And then put it in there. put it in there to get on the And then, because we had Dade Man, County X old. Block. We wow. old as fuck. It was Dade County X Block when you went somewhere that was blocked and we were like, fuck. But we had mm-hmm. to find our way around shit. Remember the Lilo and Stitch game? Yep. And you making the sandwich? Mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, so and we... the Bratz games. I forget the Bratz. Now, I had the Bratz video game, the first one. I remember that was like, Sasha, I'm cool cat. And they would be... So outside games, I used to love um, rocking in a tree top all yeah, day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but then, you had to have a lot of bitches to play that game. And then yeah. down by the lake when people be out. Down, down by, by the, the lake river and the hanky and bullfrog run from, from bank to bank to eat. Oh, oh it's your mama different in different regions. It's different. So that's, okay, so the Juneteenth yeah. cookout, we were all doing this. We were like, okay, what did y'all say? Where you from? Okay, we what did y'all said, say? Where you from? Because I learned in Mississippi. Okay. So we said... Down by the river in the hanky panky where the bullfrogs jump from bank to bank, and I forget what's in the middle. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Chili willy ding dong, your mama smell like King Kong. I pledge allegiance. It was terrible. I'm not gonna say the word. We said I pledge allegiance to the flag that Michael Jackson is an F slur. Um, and then oh no, no, it's really bad. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Michael Jackson is the F slur. Uh, Coca Cola burned him up. Now he's drinking Seven Up. Ah! Seven Up has no caffeine. Now I was drinking something green, something green is green as grass, and something about kissing somebody's ass. It was the whole thing. Yeah. Ew. Ours was <laughs> I didn't write down it. by the lake and the hanky bank said, Bullfrog jump from bank to bank, say, Fee, fa, fo, fool, your mama says, and so do you. Your mama smell like King Kong. That was also an hour. Mm-hmm. But I cannot remember the last one, but it was like you got to smack the hand. Mm-hmm. So that was fun. Uh, the other we were trying to think about was uh, Mexico. Shane, 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 Shane. Shane. I, I don't, don't want to go to Mexico no more, more, more. There's a big fat policeman at the door, door, door. She'll pull you by the collar, make you pay a dollar. I don't want to go to Mexico no more, more, more. A tale about immigration and and like police brutality. It's a whole thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, was Miss Mary Matt was obviously the first I like one. Slide. I like. Yeah, so slide. Yes, slide. Me and my dad. So my dad used to wear a fat ass pinky ring, bro. And, and, and <laughs> so like, diabolical. Geez. Every story is just even <laughs> more. Used to wear a Bad Diabolical. Ass pinky ring, bro. And like that was his favorite game to play with me. Like to the point where he would initiate. Let's play slide. No, really. He like <laughs> if I was like villain. if I was bored, he'd be like, because it was fun to him, and he just thought that You're was like, ah, ah. yeah. But I didn't, I knew that if I said, hey, can you take that fat ass pinky <laughs> ring off? We wouldn't play. He would just get irritated and not want to do it anymore. So it's only funny if you're causing me pain. No, what is I don't r- think it was that. I think he was just a man. He would lose interest in it after that. He'd be like, "All right, never mind. You play too much. Like gone. Like he would." Oh, he do didn't it. do it purposely. He was like, yeah, trying to hurt me, but that was a, my dad was never really without a watch or that ring as a kid. And then, okay, so we would play. Did you like wince like? Ah. Oh, he'd be tearing my hands up. But because I was, this is him being nice. Like, I'm just like, I'm eating shit about this. Like, I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> we're thing. having we're, fun. We're, we're bonding. Fun. We're having a good time. And he like, he was fast and shit. He'd be like, mm, mm. and then when he would lose, he would act like, like if LeBron lost like a game. He'd be like, ah, ah, ah. like he would like really get upset about it. Uh, but that was just such a good time. And because I played so much with him at home, I yeah. ate the bitches up at school. Oh, because like, I like I've been doing this all day. Because I had no siblings. So, like, before he learned how to play, everybody was eating me up because y'all got sisters and shit. I've been playing with my dad, I've been bitch. playing with my dad. I've been playing with this big, fat, knuckle-ass nigga at home. <laughs> and I'm kicking you hoes ass. I'm beating y'all up. Beating y'all up. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Time, you, know? Um, you know what game I used to like? That was a positive memory about my dad. 
That's why I thought it was going left, but you no. were like, it was genuinely nice. It's not, oh, look at I that. might actually, I might. Oh, man, I didn't even. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I have not said anything positive about him in years. That's why I just knew it was going to be something mean. No. Oh, my God. I think I'm actually crying. I'm sorry. There's some good in there. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Mm. I used to like to play with my grandmother. We mm. was on a road trip, and she, you know, she old school, and she just pulled out. You know, older people back in our day used to just always have pen and paper. Where were they getting all this? Well, because they had no phones. How were they supposed to know I stuff? know. That, that's so crazy. They just have all this, um, what's it called? What's the word called? Um, Stationery, just mm-hmm. at all times. They anyway, had address books, too. They did. That's probably what yeah. I was saying. No, it was like a um, a composition book or something. Mm-hmm. It was something. We was in the back seat. We were driving. This is my first time meeting my dad's dad. We drove to Orlando to meet him. Mm-hmm. And they had like a cookout for the 4th of July. And my mom was at Essence. And I wanted to be at Essence with my mama. Mm-hmm. But I was with my daddy and his daddy. And I was like, Ew. I don't know what this nigga. Right. So it was me, my si- older sister Monique, and then my dad, and then my grandmother, my dad's mom. Mm-hmm. So I don't even know why she volunteered to go. Because she ain't like his ass neither. <laughs> so, damn, half the people in that car are dead. That's crazy. Oh, but wow. that's dark. All right. That is dark. Dad, you, you got you turn turn the lights off. You turn. Dad them off. is dark, but you sorry, them off. <laughs> but we played. I said this was gonna get dark. I feel like it I said always that. gets dark. Yeah, but we were playing mailbox, and that was really fun. So you know, like the game, it's it's actually a game. Is it like telephone? It's on the iPhone actually. It was when you put a bunch of dots, and then you gotta make a box. It's kind of like, like without lifting your pen. This. Is this? Oh, okay. We, we yeah, call yeah. it mailbox, okay. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call it mailbox, and we she just put a bunch of dots, and she's like, "Okay, and you do a line, and I do a line, and then I gotta make a box." Mm-hmm. It was so much fun. It's so simple, and it was so simple. And I'm like, "This is you yeah, can't bonding. entertain kids. Well, you can entertain kids you can. like that now, but it's not the same. It's not. But if you get the box, you write your initial in it, mm-hmm. and then like we playing a game. I'm I just like, that. "This is so fun. I love that. It's easy. You know what game? Now I play right now. What? Mash." I love mash because we used that to get was so messy with manifesting. it. Manifesting, I'm looking around because if it's a pen and paper in here, we playing we play mash. The mash. You know what? Ooh, I got it. Yeah, you got it. Nigga, it's 2023. We can play on the iPad. I'm looking for a pen and paper. You play with the circle where you pick where you gonna Absolutely. stop. Absolutely. Yeah, so okay. we got to play. He was a real bitch. We gonna play some mash. Come on. We playing mash. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. Matter of fact, let me just Do open up. Note. I'm open up. Good note. Open up good notes. Um, let me put it in here. This is my like my random. No, okay, so we okay. playing mash. Yes, we playing tallies mash. Tallies mash. Okay, okay. so boy. Okay. Kids. Okay. Kid name. Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, number of kids. Mm-hmm. Car. You got kids and number of kids. Oh, that was what kids were. I'm sorry. I'm I'm tripping. A little rusty. Okay. Auntie this would be so much fun. Okay. We're back. Okay. Job. Job. Car. What was the other categories? Best That's enough for right now, child. Maid of honor. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. And so I got to do, it's three that I want and one that I don't want. Or you get to pick the one that I don't want. Right? We'll do two and two. Two and two. Okay, so boy for me. Dancing. Okay. This is too big. I don't like that. Okay. My handwriting is, I'm when I tell you the pits, I'm okay. doing the best I can. Okay. Why is it still spinning? Sorry. Okay. Okay, we're doing, sorry. We're playing MASH. It's going to be great. So. Okay. So your boy. Uh, my boy, let's say Damson okay. or one of them. Damson. And then let's say, you're going to pick some stupid shit. I already know you're going to pick some You know I'm going dumb. dumb. I know you're going shit. big dumb. <laughs> Uh, I'm always stupid. I'm uh, you you piss me off. Uh, who's a nice, boring, nice to look at husband? Um, because I already know what kid's name I'm gonna give you. It's gonna be so stupid. You're gonna piss me off. Okay. Uh, so let's say Damson, and I like Ryan Gosling. Let's say Ryan. That'll be fun. Ryan Gosling, white man. And okay. then kids, number of kids, so zero. That's I. That's cool. That's ideal. Um, and then let's say two. Um, kid name, Tally. Of course, I want to name my firstborn Tally. Um, and then I enjoy the name, uh, Jameson. That's not why I picked it, but, I mean, I guess. Yeah, true. I mean, that's also fire as fuck as well. (laughs) Um, job, um, fancy rich lady. That was all. 
Go ahead. Okay, fancy rich lady. Um, and then uh, late night talk show TV host. Just put late night. Yeah. yeah. Car, um, a spider, S P Y D E R. And then um, if I'm a mom, just like a really tricked out suburban, like a really just big fat ass tricked out suburban. Okay. Maid of honor. Maid of honor. I'm about to show my ass. I can't. You're going to piss me off. So uh, bad. I'm going to piss you off so uh, bad. So maid of honor. I would say my mom. Okay. Um, And then maid of honor. Who else would be a good maid of honor? Yes, of course you. I was going to pick a celebrity, though. Just put you. It's fine. That no, no, no. I'll do the celebrities. Oh, you piss me off. Just put you. Just yeah. put you. Let's go. Sure. Just do it. You upset me. Okay. All right. So we've gotten my choices for MASH. And now, okay. Mel, so. Pick, don't piss me off. Say it out loud. You. Oh, 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 girl, girl. I cannot say this name. This is somebody from my real life. I will change the trajectory put, oh, of shit. everyone's life. Let me put redacted. Let me have a little bit of cooth. Hold on. Redacted. Okay. You piss me off. Oh, that made me mad. This is the worst nigga on the planet, bruh. Okay. Dang, now I want to put the other redacted. I'll kill myself. And I know I'm not supposed to say that anymore. <laughs> I know. I know I'm not supposed to say that anymore. I know I'm not supposed to say that anymore. Okay, but, I'll put Joe Budden. But that, ah, ah, bleh. Okay, fine. I'll kill him. Fine. Cool. Kids. Okay. Hey. Go ahead. Go on. 14. 8 and 14. Kid right. name. My dream. Is it having an apostrophe and a J? Yeah, my dream. All right, go on. You made that up off the top of your head. No, you didn't see the girl go viral for naming her baby my dream? That's disgusting. Go and on. And then Armani Dior. We could call that baby AD, though. <laughs> I can work with that. We call that baby AD. Armani Dior. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> job. What's my job? Pooper scooper. <laughs> this will be my favorite part because I'll be like, perfect. Disgusting. The nigga with the bendable sneakers is going to be your husband. Uh, okay. Um, job, 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 job. What would you hate doing? Um, I'm going to give you something nice. Foot model. Okay. That's lucrative. I'll take it. There's money in that. Did you see that girl's video talking about when she sold them feet pics? Ooh, <laughs> did you see that one where that girl met up with somebody in her town? That's what I'm talking about. And he was like, look at her feet. He was, I've never seen somebody. <laughs> he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was sucking the fucking Okay, so car, car. Car. Putt putt. Putt putt. Car. Car. Put, put. That's always a favorite. That's, that's okay. I've had a putt putt. It's fine. Okay, a putt putt and a, um, a Hellcat. Okay. Because why not? Why not? You have, okay. You have 14 kids in a Hellcat? That's funny to me. If I have 14 kids, they won't all be living with me anyway, so that's fine. Um, that girl, the maid of honor. Which that girl? That girl? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, go on. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the second one is... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so some of these we can't say. We can't say. We will just say that this is a person I hate. I hate. I don't know if there's a situation where you would call off your wedding because of who your maid of honor is. But the way that, what would I be getting married that day? Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, tell me when to stop. Okay. I'm doing a swirl. Stop. Okay, then this is a fat ass swirl. I didn't mean for it to be this okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. Woo! Okay, this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. This okay, is fun. eight. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No late night host for you. One, two, three, four. No, oh, no me. Uh oh, shit. You're an asshole. No me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no my dream. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No Hellcat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no Ryan. Ryan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, no fancy rich lady. So you either gonna be a I'm pooper either gonna be a pooper scooper or, or a foot, foot model. I'm banking on foot model. Okay, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up, oh, no redacted. Okay. Okay, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No Jameson. So, either so my child is either going to be named Tally or Armani Dior, <laughs> which is gross. Which is One, very gross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Okay, so your mom is your maid of honor. My mom's my maid of honor. I'm better you than did, everyone else. You did good. Uh-huh. You, yes. you, you okay. made it out there because uh, the mother too. The mother too. We, I just wouldn't be getting married. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, your child. My baby's name, name is Tally Purr. Some of this is shaping up exactly how I want it to. Whew, that job, right. we're going to have to pray for it. Okay. okay, one, two, three, four, five, uh-huh. six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's between redacted and damson. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up. <laughs> okay, go one, on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you I do drive a spider. This life is shaping up nice. It's not I doing bad. Doing bad. I'm, I'm bad so it. as it stands right now, my baby's name is if one of my baby's name, Tally. I um I drive a spider, which is what I want. Uh, my mom is my maid of honor. We got to do how many kids I got, where I live at, and what my job is, and what the bo- who the boy is. That's I left out here. Okay. okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So it's redacted. Sorry. That's disgusting. One, two, three. So the man I'm with is the worst nigga we know, personally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's between zero and 14. Between zero kids. and 14 kids. Those, that's. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you are a pooper. I'm a pooper scooper. scooper. That is my life. And you have zero kids. I have zero kids. Well, I don't need to have kids if I'm a pooper scooper. That's too much responsibility. So for MASH, let's uh-huh. figure out what you win. Mash, okay, so obviously that's our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mansion or streets, one, two, oh, yeah, okay. So you're Okay, guys. So you I turned live, out really good. I turned out good. I live in a mansion. I'm married to the worst nigga we know in real life. I've got zero kids with that nigga, so I could get up out of there if I wanted to. <laughs> uh, if I did have a kid, it would be named Tally. Tally. Uh, I'm a pooper scooper, which hopefully is lucrative. It sounds like a high risk it's a lot of poop. sanitation job. So maybe it pays a lot because garbage men make a lot of money. So I'm assuming the poopy people do too. I drive a spider, which is what I wanted to drive anyway. My mom's been made of honor. Purr. You did pretty decent. Great day. game. I love that. We encourage you all to play MASH and let us know the results. Do you want to do mine or do we have time for that? I don't think we have time. That was fun. No, I had it. I'm good. Uh, but that was amazing. That was really cool. We got to play MASH. We got to play MASH again. I got to save this as a yeah, PDF. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good time. We're going we're gonna to put that up there uh, uh, on the on the Twitter page. <laughs> yeah, we gonna we gonna play this one. How yeah. I do it, child? I don't know. Uh, that's fancy, but yeah. So that was really fun. Let's get back into the topic. Okay, so did we talk about favorite childhood toy or no? Um, toy, not specifically. No, mm. I liked my brat's doll head, like my mannequin. Oh, she was. Yeah. When I tell you, I had a salon. Oh wow. I used to do it to the point where, like, I graduated. My mom went and just bought me a real mannequin. Because mm-hmm. I would be in there doing her fucking hair. And then I had the Barbie one that did this. What does this you mean? You do her nails. Oh, She was a head and shoulders, but she also had hands. Oh, that's creepy. So you I could don't do her nails, I like too. That. I used to, you know, mm-hmm. I was in there because I was trying to braid. I really mm-hmm. wanted, to, I legit wanted to be a hairdresser when I was little. Okay. So my parents, like, I think I did it. for a while, too, because my cousin Talisha did hair, and I thought that was just, like, Peak. the coolest shit ever. Yeah. Um, And she was, like, old, still is old school stylist. She was doing. Mark, microwave curls, French rolls, all that shit. Um, my, I want some. Uh, I need to learn how to do those old school hairstyles. My favorite toy, but my mother ended up taking it from me. I had Betty spaghetti dolls. I used to love, but Betty I used to chew them. I used to chew. No, and I mean, fine. The judgment is gonna happen regardless. I used to, because it looks like candy. So I used to like chew her legs and chew her clothes and stuff. And then my mom was like, "Where are these?" What are these marks like on this toy when she would play with me and she finally like caught she caught me. It was so shameful. She caught me chewing my Betty Spaghetti leg. I know what you want to say. I'm I'm almost certain of what you want to say. I'm almost certain of what you want to say. Keep it to yourself. Go ahead. Why the fuck was you chewing <laughs> up Betty Spaghetti? You thought it was real spaghetti, bitch? You like, where the no, sauce at, bitch? Because if you had Why a, are you chewing? No. Listen, don't holler at me. No, don't you chew up Betty Spaghetti. If she ain't never do shit Betty to nobody. Spaghetti no, doll, you knew her legs was all bendy and it was brightly colored. That was, what What food you know neon yellow? It was, it looks like gummy candy and I wanted to chew it and it just got good to me. <laughs> so I didn't stop. <laughs> And my mom ended up throwing it off this the bitch bounce. was eating her Betty spaghetti. I was eating. Betty. You should not be out here with regular people, bro. Listen, I was eating Betty down. <laughs> I was eating Betty ass right on up. 
my mama threw that shit off the balcony at the apartment. She was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong? Kids just be doing shit. Doing bro. anything. You have no business eating Betty spaghetti. Oh, man. Betty was a nice lady. I used to love Betty spaghetti. Oh, man. That's funny as fuck. Well, I love my dolls, my breast dolls, my Barbie dolls, and I'm still, it's so triggering with this Barbie movie coming out or about to be out because. My dogs got given away, and it was just like a, like a thief in the night. Why that, y'all every take time you tell, that's one of the saddest things that that's you say. That's so sad. Because I could tell it still hurts you. It hurts me so bad. I'm so sorry. And I bring it up, and everybody act like I'm just being crazy. No, like, no you're not that being shit crazy. Was, and I'm still like, did we need the money? Like, did you sell them? Like, what was it? What did? Why yeah. did we? Where are my dogs? Sometimes girl? your parents just think you need to put away. Because one day, all my Barbies, in the move from Detroit to Georgia, all of my childish things were gone. I, and so in my grandmother's home, my grandmother still owns the family house in Detroit, but we have tenants there. I don't know what's in that basement. I've not been in that house since we left it. So, like, all of my childish things, there's, and I say this all the time, I feel like a ghost girl. There's no record of me really being a child. Mm-hmm. And that drives me. I think insane. that was, that's what it was too for me. It was like a physical representation of your childhood. Yeah. And I don't, I, when I say I have, nothing from when I was a kid. Like, I, I have no... Some of my high school things, which is the most little girl I think I have record of being, like, from my freshman year of high school, some of those things are still in my stepmom's basement. But, like, that's why I always tell people I feel like I've been an adult all my life. I genuinely don't remember large parts of being a kid because I don't have stuff. You don't have the stuff. And it's yeah. like, I'm a hoarder. I will keep things forever. So, mm-hmm. like, I didn't have my dolls in my room, obviously, so it's like they were in the basement with all. I'm like, oh, this ho- mom, you got outfits from 1983, but my shit gotta go. I still don't understand, and it, it really makes it really like. Yeah. I, but my that's the thing about adulthood and me healing my inner child. I'm collecting Barbies now, mm-hmm. so like even like that's why I love Rita and my friend Tim. God rest his soul, because I had posted like y'all. This is me on my fifth birthday. Like listen, my dog. Oh my god, I, I love this dog. It's a yo yo dog. They went on eBay and found that dog that's for me. Beautiful. And they bought it for me. And that was the nicest thing I think anybody's ever done for me. And then I bought the, the Easter Ray doll for the new movie. Mm-hmm. And then I got like a PR box and they gave me a doll with it, a Barbie doll. Mm-hmm. So now I'm in like three. And I'm just going to build it. And I remember it, I had, I tell you, I had all of them. So I'm just, I, I don't want to talk about it no more because it makes me sad. No, I, th- but I, like, think, I think people like rush black girls to grow up. And we're still we're still children to ourselves, yeah. but in I think grown people's mind, it's like it's been time for you to like let, let go, go of that. It's like, like no, and it's, it's like not. no, like I'm still a kid, man. So like maybe I need to figure out what would heal that part of my inner child. Yeah, I think I want to start because you know, I already collect books, but I was looking at my bookshelf the other day. I don't have any of my books from when I was a kid either. And that would probably make me feel better, like having some of the books that like I enjoy the fly reading. Girls and the the fly, but even some of the other like. Really childlike books. Like, if I want to like copy. Like, B. Jones or something. Yes, I want a copy of The Hungry Caterpillar So Bad and Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Mm. I never stopped reading those as I became, like, a preteen. Like, those are, I used to reread my favorite childhood books because that, that would like make me Like, Go Dog Go? I will probably yes. burst into tears. Oh, my gosh. So, I think I want to start collecting those again. But this is about to make me um, emotional. Sad. So, um, but video games. I've been playing video games to, like, the PlayStation. Because once I started playing games for myself, when I first started, like, you know how you give the little the younger sibling the control and it's mm. not plugged in. That's mm. how like my early gaming started. Cause like when he wasn't met me playing fucking her fucking save game, mm. nigga. But I was sitting watch. I like she used to be so good at Crash Bandicoot, and I was like, I can't wait to grow up so I can be good at Crash Bandicoot oh, like that's her. So cute. And yeah, it was really cute. Like that's one time like she would allow my presence. Like mm. she usually was like go away, mm. but she would let me sit there and watch her. And I would just be like, wow, ooga booga. And then he was oh. like. <laughs> Like, I used to just love watching her play. And then when I started playing for myself, that's when I was playing Rugrats and Spyro. And I used to really like, um, the fucking Shrek game was fun. The Shrek game was so fun. The Shrek and oh Shrek 2, you could switch between Donkey and all of them mm-hmm. and who you wanted to play. I watched Shrek last night. That Amazing. shit was so funny. Classic film. I watched Shrek in any given moment. Yep. I think, um, I wasn't into video games. Um, I spent a lot of time with my cousin Jurian, um, and he wasn't great. Uh, and when he would be playing with his friends, like, I was the girl. So it's like, You fuck can't you. play your girl. You can't play your girl. So I would watch, but I was better at the electronic games and at the car games than them niggas at Pokemon. Something you can't motherfucking talk to me about is Pokemon. I think I'm going to start collecting Pokemon cards again. See, I never got, that was demonic, so I couldn't play with that. That was my shit. I could play Pokemon on my Game Boy 
all day long. When Pokemon Go came out, I think that was that during the pandemic. When it was, that no, happened? it was like 2016. No, no, no. Well, it's like 2016. But people started playing more during the pandemic because you go outside and walk and shit and catch Pokemon. Sure. When that shit was happening, when I was I was catching Pokemon down the Stonecrest. I was catching them at the park. Literally, bitch like me, gotta catch them all. Literally, gotta catch them all. I like that Pokemon. Was so much fun. I li- I watched the show. I didn't get into the card as much. So, like, I, n- I don't even know how it works. Like, even Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, it was you wanna Digimon. Get the, you want to get into Pokemon? You want to do it? I you have enough fandoms that I'm obsessed with, so I don't really have much room on Anybody want to do Pokemon with me that's listening, just let me know, because I'm really interested in <laughs> so that. So, like, how you play the cards? Is it just trading cards? I never so got So, like, into certain it. cards and certain Pokemon have different and special powers and like better powers than other and also they're different versions of the same pokemon mm-hmm. so like because they evolve and shit because they yeah. evolve and shit like that so then you just basically like battle with the cards and like it's got like words on the cards that are like oh well if you play this card then this happens and this card beats this cards and then certain cards are, like really special versions I'm nerding out. Sorry. Of other cards. I love that. You so, don't usually get to nerd out. It's usually me. So like, ah! so, like, you might have, like, a super, I don't remember the name of it, but you might, like, have, like, say, you got, say, you a Pokemon, you a Melanor, and so sure. you got a Melanor card here, and it's a regular-ass Melanor that came out the regular-ass pack from Walmart. But you got And the then bad you might Melanor. have a super sparkly holographic signed by Beyonce Melanor, and it's, like, a, just, like, a whole shenanigan, because you really just put your dick on the table with some shit like that. It's a whole thing. Um, yeah, so anybody want to get into Pokemon with me, I would love that. I didn't even remember until just now how much what? I was really into yeah, it. Yeah, you were really into it. So, I love that for you, man. So yeah. That was, that yeah, was yeah. fun. Okay, so as a little girl, what was your favorite hairstyle? Um, oh, baby. When I started getting perms, I used to, I love my beads. My auntie would do my beads and she would braid my hair. And I used to love it because I remember she had like a box. I could smell the box of like barrettes mm-hmm. and bows. And then she would do my hair and she would put the pink moisturizer spray. The, yeah, the pink lotion mm-hmm. spray, the oil sheen. Mm-hmm. She would put it in between my braids. I remember the cool feeling. I remember the smell of it. And then that was like such a vivid memory, like getting my hair braided. But once I started getting my hair done professionally with my mom, um, I would go with her every two weeks, and I would get my perms at six, which I shouldn't have been getting mm-hmm. done. But I would get a zigzag part in the middle, mm-hmm. two ponytails, and then the candy curls. You couldn't tell me shit, bro. I love... Or the sun up, sun down? I... My dad was mostly responsible for my hair when I lived with him. And so if my cousin Talisha couldn't do it, I said this before, he used to take me to the Ethiopians, which I'm not even sure if that's, like, what they were or what was going on. He used to take me to the Ethiopians to get my hair braided. And something just about him and that experience would always get me these fucking little Bow Wow braids, like the braids straight to the back. I don't know if it was a cost thing. I don't know if he was trying to make me not look super feminine because he was very weird about me wearing jewelry. Like, it was a whole shenanigan. It was really bad. Um, but he used to do this style for me when I was a little girl. And if he couldn't take me to get my hair braided, in his mind, he just, like, figuring it out. Like, his dad, he really don't know what the fuck he doing. That rich Italian can do a motherfucking figure curl, baby. <laughs> he used to put them hair in them two puffs, and he would get that blue magic and a little gel, and he would get the... With that big fat knuckle finger around, and them curls will come out so luscious and ju- and he when I say that nigga could swoop a ponytail, and he would do this thing. He would take his big fat ass thighs, and he would fucking squeeze you like a fucking thigh master, and be yanking your shit back with tightest. Pun- and he before baby hairs a new thing. Rich Tyler gonna lay them baby hairs down. That was my favorite hairstyle. I look like a fucking porcelain doll. I have told, asked him now, like, how did you do that? He was like, you're 100 years old. Nobody remembers how to do that. <laughs> Don't fucking ask Get the fuck me. out my face. Get the fuck out my face. That, he get the swooping ass <laughs> shit. He get the, mm, that was my favorite hairstyle as a kid. My dad did my hair. That's two positive once. memories. You're doing, you, you oh, two man. for two. I'm two for two. Maybe I need, nah, if I call mm-hmm. him, he'll ruin it. Nah, don't do yeah, that. Just nah. enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this positivity right My here. dad did my hair one time. <laughs> I can already tell. This is going to be terrible. Because you know how many people who had to be unavailable for my daddy had to be the, <laughs> the lady who, my auntie, the, the stylist, my mama, my sister. Well, actually, my sister goes, but like, if Melissa couldn't do my hair, then my mama do it. None of them people were available, and Mike had to do my hair. <laughs> it was so bad because I had to go to my, I was, I was little because I wasn't in school yet, but I remember this. I, so I had to be like mm-hmm. early four. Mm-hmm. He just parted it right here. And I think he put he put it two ponytails on one. Top. I always hated it. if it was a ponytail. This I don't one, like these hairstyles. I hated vertical. I hated vertical, Mohawk, I I hate hate vertical ponytails. Styles. Yeah. So he put this one in like a twist or an attempt of a twist, and then a puff in the back. And he sent me to that lady house. That was my babysitter. 
And as soon as she saw me, she said, your daddy did your hair. <laughs> and they redid my goddamn hair. Because why would you do that? Because why would you do this to that baby? And he tried his best. Bless him heart. But they immediately knew whoever was in charge of hair it was not. Was not doing hair that day. So when I have a, a child, especially if I have a child with that boy, like you know that video of the dude who learned how to do his wife hair? Mm-hmm. That's going to be, he's going to be so methodical with that shit because we're we going through a boot camp. Whoever has the privilege of getting me pregnant needs to know that they're, you're going to be in boot camp. Little girl you or gonna little learn. boy. You're going to be a fucking parent and all the shit that I know how to do, you you're going to know how to do. Now, if we try to teach you how to do it and we realize you simply don't have the ability, fine. But you going to try. To learn how to do this little motherfucker's Because you ain't going to have mm-hmm. my child looking fucking looking crazy. Fucking we going to teach you how to braid. And, and to my daddy sp- couldn't do shit but them curls. If he stepped but out. he did that one he thing. He did that and he one did thing it. and he did it well. But let him try to step out. Uh, his What what Will Smith say? This is your box. This is where you live. <laughs> right here. You right here. You live right here. He couldn't do shit else. And that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, favorite movie. Because we didn't talk about movies. My favorite movie as a kid was Matilda. And I, I Matilda. when I say... I've talked extensively about when the last time I was in therapy, I talked about that extensively. I identify with that movie way too much, and I wanted mm. powers so bad. Like, I'm killing I would everybody watch in this that bit. movie hoping that I would absorb some <laughs> magic, and like I, and I didn't want to be adopted. I just wanted my dad to like disappear. <laughs> but like, like I, watched, what, what I gotta do to get rid of? Because mm. I'm, because in the movie, what I'm getting from the movie is if you read a bunch of books, you will get some powers, and so I'm just. Flipping through every book I can get my fucking hands on. I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading the Martin Stewart cookbooks. I'm reading whatever. What, what else I gotta what read? What else I gotta read to get the fucking shit? And I love that movie so much because I wanted a. This is gonna make me sad. I wanted a Miss Honey. I was waiting to meet somebody that was save like, you, yeah. yeah, and granted, like my cousins and people who weren't my immediate family were kind to me, but they weren't around every day. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like so. I wanted somebody in my life that was going to be just kind to me every day. And I watched that movie over. I watched that movie almost every chance I could. My granddad's girlfriend, when I was little, had a whole, this was before DVDs were even like that popular. People still had VHS. She had a whole wall of DVDs and, and movies. And I would watch. I wore her Matilda DVD down so bad she had to get another one. I watched it almost every time I could. And I think the last time I watched Matilda, like, on purpose outside maybe watched it like a couple months ago but the last time I watched it on purpose was like the week before we moved to Georgia and my stepmom was my miss honey and that was the first time that somebody was in my life every day that was kind to me mm-hmm. nope Mm-mm. no and I just I just that movie as a kid like it just kind of made me feel like you're gonna meet somebody one day that is gonna do good for you and that's what I did mm-hmm Mm-hmm. No, nope. mm-hmm. a very emotional conversation. I don't get to talk about being like a little girl in a positive way a lot. Yeah, with, with the C you being positive, you being positive, you not being as dark. Keep fanning. No, I'm sorry. It's all right. I That's don't want to do another emotional one no more. <laughs> well, no, we said we didn't want to talk about niggas and hating them, so we yeah, had to but pivot. I'm not emotional about that because they suck. <laughs> you want a hug? No. It's gonna no. Be <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, so, oh, God. I never get to talk about. I'm here, friend. Being happy, you know, as a kid. I was so unhappy. I'm so sorry. You watch Matilda together? And eat food? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. This is so fucking gross. What a fucking dweeb, am I right? I oh. mean, you are kind of lame for this, but it's like, I'm it's sorry. all right. Like, who cries? Oh, like, the, on a podcast. Oh, that's crazy. Kind of I would never do no shit, shit like that. This? Niggas think about happiness and, like, fond memories. Oh, what the God, fuck I'm wrong with sorry, you? you know, I'm all set on this shit here. Oh, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap this shit up, I was just going to say, like, I enjoy watching the Rugrats movie and, like, in theaters. <laughs> Some act to follow. I didn't know it was gonna get that deep, I nigga. I, I was just wanted to talk terrible. about Burger King watches and shit. I wanted to be like, remember the watches? I, I I I had a Burger King watch. I remember that. That was yeah. fun. But that's when like that's why people are like, oh, this Barbie shit. Like, what's the budget? But this how movies supposed to get brought out, bitch. Yeah. It's supposed to be shit at the fucking and restaurant. I know we're not supposed to talk bad about men today, but I want them to stop pretending like they don't know who the fuck Barbie is. Don't fucking how say fucking dare like you? That. How fucking you know, dare you? You got sisters. Barbie started all this shit. Old black ladies had Barbies lined up and down their stairs and in their offices and shit, and then they guest bedrooms. And My stuff. mama and Barbie are the same age. She had Barbies. She had Barbies. I play with Barbies. My little junior gonna play with Barbies. I'm gonna make sure of it. 
Well, okay, were you allowed to play with white Barbies? Because people keep saying that was a problem. Um, no. No, and my dad would give people white Barbies back. White dolls. I wasn't, uh, from either parent, I was not allowed white Barbies. That is so crazy. No, I, I fully get it. But yeah. for me, having white dolls, because I think, because I that's the. I don't think the brown ones, the Hispanic ones made it either. No, no, no Teresa's either. I don't that's think crazy. I had Teresa either. So for me, because it was the world that I lived in that was so like mixed, I didn't see a problem with it. My, of course, they would prioritize black doll, but they didn't have it. Like you can get a white doll. The bitch was messy as fuck, and I would always bring the drama with the white dolls. But like, <laughs> I, I had all of them, and because I, I think for me too, I wanted all of them. Like, mm. why? Well, I, I give a fuck about this bitch being white. I want, I want the whole set because they would have like the sets, and they had different outfits. I think that that bothered me that like. I, because I only had like black dolls, like I didn't get some of the other like attachments or like That's accessories. That's what I'm saying. It was it had different stuff on them. Yeah, but also like dark, not dark, just sad. My Barbies and shit and my toys were getting taken away from me so often. I never really developed an attachment to anything. Mm-hmm. Like I kind of as a kid was just like, this is like if I got like Christmas shit, I'd be like, this is cool, but I'm not really gonna form any attachment to any of this stuff because I know this nigga's gonna come take it probably like tomorrow. So like, I never really formed an attachment. That's why I don't buy real jewelry. Also, like, I don't form attachment. This is the longest necklace that I've kept. I don't form attachments to. Oh, my shit be from fucking Amazon. I kind of live the hair store. The hair store for me too. I kind of live my life where like anything can get taken from me at any time. So mm, I don't form attachments. That's that's like, I mean, it's whatever. It's disgusting, but I mean, it just is what it is. Jump on. Huh? Let's go. Um, no, I told him I was going to forgive him, and I have to mean it. No, you don't. I, I feel like I do. I, I, I said I was going to get over it. <laughs> you don't have to. But I'm tired of being unhappy about it. So yeah, that's why I'm and like, that's let me fair. It but it's like you're going to always have your moments, though. Yeah. So it's like it's not going. That's the thing about forgiveness, which is what I'm working on personally myself. It's not. It's, it happened. We yeah. here. But never yeah. mind. So Barbies. Yes. But yeah, my Barbies used to fuck a lot. I used to really enjoy making my Barbies fuck. You're an interesting person. I think, but you know what? Everybody was doing it. I thought that's that's pretty normal. Making your Barbies doing this. I used to make the girls kiss, which I guess makes sense. I mean, uh, 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 uh. I don't think I was I allowed didn't... kins either. I don't think I got boy dolls. Oh, come on, man. No, I'm just. I'm not trying to be like weird. Nah, but like... I used to be kissing that kin doll in the fucking mouth. You're a I used to be in there. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga was fine. Oh Ooh, my mm-hmm. god, what is it with these chairs? You, this is you, a that, you keep your feet planted. I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground because this is the second week in a, two weeks. No, in a row because that nigga. That let me let off. me see. Surf Ken doll. That nigga was fine as fuck. I'm gonna I'm find a picture. I don't think Surf. I want my child kissing on that white man. No, mine was black. Oh, uh, he had he had waves. I know who you talking about. That was a hot dog because Raven had one. Yep. That nigga was mm-hmm. fine as fuck. Hold on, let me see. He was a surf. It was a surfer, and he had on the fucking swimming trunks. And oof, this nigga. He, I remember him. Yeah, yeah, no, he was baby. Fine. Yeah. This nigga was fine as hell. Yep. Um. <laughs> I'm about to tweet this. I was kissing this Ken doll in the mouth when I was a kid. That's probably what's wrong with me now. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not judging you. Okay, so what was the biggest scandal slash grown folks business that you remember as a kid? It could have been your people. It could have been somebody else's people, distant family. Do you remember any, like, big scandals? My, I was, like, 11 at that point, so I had, like, enough sense. I'm trying to think of, like, a scandal, scandal, scandal. Church mess. I used to be all deep into the church mess. Mm. It was church mess. Like, it was just, like, it was, like, you know, hoes in church. And, like, we told her not to date. Redacted, and she went and had a baby by him anyway. And I'm mm-hmm. just hearing the adults like talking shit about it. And I was just like, Child. Shit, man. so yeah. that was a whole mess. Oh, I remember that. That was fun. Mm-hmm. But the kid turned out great. I she think my great. my biggest scandal. Um, so when I was a little girl, my biggest thing. I hate the circus now too. That's so crazy. And this might have been the last time I went to the circus. I wanted to go to the Universal Circus so bad, and usually my daddy took me or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. So this particular year. I guess whoever my mama boyfriend was at the time had gotten, like, tickets through his job or whatever. So she had, like, told my dad that um, she was going to take me this year, which he was really upset about because, like, that was, like, our thing. And I think they got into, like, a huge argument about it or whatever. And she's like, well, you take her every year to the circus. So I'm going to take her to the circus. I don't think she told my dad that she was taking me with a, with a nigga. Yeah. And then, so, my dad, and she didn't know this about my dad either. My dad also really enjoys the circus. So, it wasn't like... He ended up going anyway. He ended up going anyway. Yeah. And so, he ended up seeing us 
With a nigga. With this nigga out, that nigga lost his fucking mind. <laughs> at the circus. That nigga lost his mind at the circus. I think he might have like got so shook that he dropped his popcorn and shit. <gasps> he was like, what? And I think. Like, you know when Respicia saw Norbit dancing with Kate, she was like, oh. <gasps> Literally that. Like, he called Mike and he was like, Jasmine. He was squinting, trying to make sure it was his child. And I'm like, what's up? Family day at the circus. Because my mom's here, my dad's here. It's I'm having lit. fun. I don't really hate her boyfriend. So I'm like, you know, this is a great time. I have no Them problem three grown ups were standing about right there where you see that sign at, cutting the motherfucking food. They was, you sitting there I'm sitting this. there like, when are we going into the tent? Because <laughs> I'm here to... Hey, the elephants are out now. <laughs> I don't know what's do next. It. I'm just I, trying and to... And I did not... I understand now, as a grown-up, why he was so upset. For the life of me, I just could not understand why he was so mad. We were and at the he circus. he was looking like a big-ass kid at the circus by himself. <laughs> it ain't like he went with no bitch. He didn't take a friend. He was just... Oh, I had this one, too. He was fine, too. He's crazy looking. He was... No, he was cute. This is a bad he picture like of him. He looks like This is a bad picture of him. He was fine. He's awful. But no, it, it's it's not like he it went with some bitch. Like Al he looked like Al Roker. Get that demon out of here! <laughs> oh but shit! But no, so that's the biggest scandal that that I remember. That's that funny hilarious. as fuck. Yeah, that is. She hilarious. was wrong for that. You know, good for her. She, Again, we support women's wrong. I support here. women's wrong, but she shouldn't have did that. Paul Rod over there sleep on that couch like an old man. You missed it. He was like, <laughs> No, I seen too. <laughs> he was trying to play it off too. Nigga. But you I see. think that's enough. I've been crying and all. Yeah, it's, it's triggering. You know what? Yeah, fuck no, this. this. We turned out okay, didn't we? <laughs> I'm as okay as I could ever be. I tell people all the time I could righteously be sleeping under 85, ringing a bell. You know what I'm saying? With that. <laughs> and that would have made And everybody would have been like, Yep, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. So I'm doing much better than I should be doing. <laughs> so I'm fine with it. Um, all right, y'all. Bye. Bye.